YouTube, what's up? Back again for another daily fishing video here on Andrew Upshaw Fishing. Just got back from Chesapeake Bay, and obviously, I did not have the tournament that I wanted to have. But I actually had something really, I don't even know how to say it, just unreal happen to me while I was at that tournament. And it kind of gave me a different perspective on some things, and I really wanted to share it with you because... You know, I've done this a lot with other people, but I've never had it done to me, especially not to this caliber. So, but real fast though, if you have not subscribed to my YouTube channel, make sure you do so. It's real easy in the bottom right hand corner. You're going to see a little red button that says subscribe. So just do that real quick. But hey, let's talk about this situation that happened. Now, let me be absolutely frank with you. When you're fishing the Bassmaster Opens, when you're fishing a high level tournament trail, you're fishing against other anglers. Um, you, especially in the Opens, you have guys that fish the Bass Pro Tour. You have guys that fish the Pro Circuit, the Elite Series. You have the biggest hammers on the lake. You have all of these people, okay? And they all have a common goal, win the tournament, right? That's my goal when I go there is try to win. Uh, obviously, at that particular event, I, I think I finished like 130-something. I zeroed on day two. I had about 10 bites that day. But beyond all that, I had a situation happen with an Elite Series champion, um, this particular Elite Series champion champion is Brian Schmidt. Uh, he's coming off a win at the Mississippi River. And I've always been very cordial with with Brian. He's always been a a really nice guy to me. Uh, uh, he's a one of Hallman's buddies uh, from way back. They used to travel together on the FLW Tour back in the day. And, you know, I've always had really good conversations with Schmidt. And I've never really... I mean, other than just the passing combo... Not, never really had that kind of interaction with him. But on this particular situation, we were fishing the exact same 50-yard to 100-yard stretch in the grass. And we were kind of sharing it with some other people, but he and I were the... they were We were there on the first day, and we fished it really hard. And both of us were there throughout the day, each of the two competition days. Well, on day two, I want to say it was like 9.30. It was early. Um... Brian pulls up, and he pulls right in front of me, and which was fine. I mean, he and I were fishing the same stretch. It wasn't going to matter if he pulled up front, in front of me, behind me. I mean, it was the same 100-yard stretch that I'd gone down 15 times at this point. And as soon as he pulls in, I'd been fishing all morning there. I'd had about five bites, I think. As soon as he pulls in, he catches one, like, on the second cast. And I'm like, are you kidding me? Like, And it, and it was a good one. I mean, it was like a two-and-a-half to three-pounder. And I know that doesn't sound like a good one to some of you, but at this particular event, it was really, really challenging. I know the top 10 did pretty well, and we kind of expected the top 10 to have a good tournament. Uh, but overall, the fishing was as brutal as I've been uh, experiencing quite some time. I mean, it was absolutely horrendous. But Schmidt catches that one, and he goes down, and he comes back towards me. And we're talking, I mean, because it's we're not that far apart. And... Uh, he catches another one and and mind you i have been fishing this stretch for like two hours at this point and i'd already had another guy come in and catch a couple as well and i just for whatever reason could not land a bass there i, I had plenty of them on um just had some bad luck and even uh brian told me he said you know every fish that he actually caught was just hanging in their mouth like it was like skin hooked on the outside edge of the mouth so, I mean, the fish weren't aggressive. They weren't active. And, and that kind of leads us into what actually happened. So, I notice in the distance, Brian gets down and he's, I think he's just putting a new trailer on or retying or something like that. Because, I mean, when you're going through there, you're you're going through the gamut of baits. You've you got 20 rods on your deck and you're just trying all kinds of different things. At least that's what I was doing. Uh, so, not unexpected to see him sit down and start retying. But... He stands up and he has a pack of trailers and a vibrating jig in his hand. And, and he goes, hey, come here real quick. I'm going to give you something. I'm like, okay. Like, what the heck's Brian Schmidt going to give me? I think this is pretty cool. And he comes over there. And I'm not kidding, guys. He he literally says, he said, you got way more on the line than I do. You know, I know you're struggling to get them in the boat today. Gives me the trailers gives me a whole pack of the trailers gives me an, a vibrating jig and says throw this throw it on 17 pound line you know this is what i've been catching them on i you know i can't get bit on on swim jigs or i can get a lot of bites on swim jigs and things like that but i can't seem to get them to commit to it 
Um, and so he gives me this. He's like, throw it like this, roll it like that. I mean, like, gives me all of it. Do I catch any? Absolutely not. And But that is the whole part of this story that I find really, really interesting. So Schmidt is coming off of a win at the Elite Series. Literally came there the week before, was at the Mississippi River and won that Elite Series event there. And comes over to me and gives me the bait that he's literally caught every bass on. I've done this a few times. I've given guys baits. I've, you know, especially if I've had a really good day or, you know, a guy can tell is struggling or something. But I've never in my life, and, and this is a very first in my entire life, I've never in my life had an Elite Series, a Bass Pro Tour guy, uh, FLW Tour guy that I didn't know and wasn't a great friend of mine roll over and give me a bait, much less exactly how he's fishing it, exact everything. Um, kind of surreal. Like it was, you know, I've had a lot of th great things happen in my career. I've had, I've won tournaments, I've top tens, and I've met some of the coolest people in the world. I've not had that happen. And it kind of, it kind of blew my mind a little bit. Like you won't get to see the clips because I didn't save them. But I want to tell you about half that day. I was in like awe with my co-angler telling him about like, I just can't believe that crap happened. I can't believe he came over and gave me a bait. And much less it being Brian Schmidt on a tidal body of water being the Chesapeake Bay. Like, that's like saying, uh, I'm going to go get some boxing lessons from Muhammad Ali during his time. Like, Brian Schmidt is one of the best, if not the best, tidal river, tidal body of water fisherman that I can ever think of. I mean, if you know a better one, please tell me. But to have him come over and basically walk me through the process is easily one of the coolest things I've ever happened in my career. And I will never forget it, you know. And, and regardless if he ever remembers it, you know, regardless if he even knows what my name is, it's still to this day one of the, the nicest things I've ever had an angler do, especially in a tournament like the Bassmaster Open and one that he could have won. I mean, now, did he only have eight pounds on the first day? Yeah, but he had five for eight. He could have caught 18 pounds the second day and jumped all the way in the top 10. The dude, this was early, guys. Like, this was early. He just caught two good ones right in front of me. He didn't have to do that. He could have gone and won the tournament. Now, granted, the fish never showed up, and, and I ended up having about 12 bites a day, and I never hooked one. I mean, that's just how it goes sometimes in tournament bass fishing. You know, I, I had a couple of not the nicest comments about uh my tournament performance at the chesapeake and i'm just gonna be quite frank with you sometimes you have bad days i had a bad tournament and the thing is i've got three more tournaments this year i've got the red river i've got hartwell and i've got sam rayburn and two of the three are really amazing places that i love with hartwell and rayburn so you know you never know what might happen i can tell you this the next time i see an angler in the water struggling i'm gonna be like brian schmidt and help him out and pay it forward and i hope you do the same if you have an angler that you see is just having a bad day and just needs a little help in hand help them out guys it would mean more to them than you would ever ever understand and maybe it will change the way they fished maybe it change your life and uh you know did then brian schmidt change my life no but i can tell you this he changed my outlook on a lot of things just by that simple kind gesture and i hope i really wanted to do this video in sole purpose to say a massive thank you to brian schmidt he did not have to do that he absolutely didn't and so thank you brian thank you for you know being above yourself i, I you know in this industry these days it doesn't seem like i'm not saying that there aren't anglers that are just the nicest people in the world but like middle competition you know toes on the line and he's helping that's crazy so guys if you can go check out brian schmidt on, on facebook social media go like his stuff go tell him how great he is because he is he's a great dude and i want him to hear it from you guys but guys thank y'all for watching this video i've got a lot of really cool content coming your way and i will see you on the next video